Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking Up Love. Today we're making the most incredibly delicious barbacoa beef tacos. These barbacoa tacos will blow your mind. In just 10 minutes, you'll be slathering a chuck roast with our incredible wet spice rub and then setting it into the crock pot to cook on low and slow for eight hours. Our barbacoa is juicy, flavorful, and super tender with a rich sauce that you will want to drink straight. And our barbacoa recipe gets even better on day two, making it a winner at our house, except we rarely have any leftovers. Here's a quick look at our short list of ingredients, and I've put the entire recipe in the description box below. First, we're going to make the wet spice rub. I'm using a Nutribullet, and you can also use a blender or a food processor. Place about a half cup of cilantro into the container. Squeeze the juice from two limes. And then pour two tablespoons of lime juice into the container. If you're new to our channel, we believe sharing homemade food spreads joy and touches lives. And every week we share delicious recipes you can proudly share with your friends and family. Like this barbacoa beef taco recipe that tastes even better than your favorite restaurant. Mince or crush four cloves of garlic and add to the mixture. Add two tablespoons of chipotle in adobo sauce. I love these diced chipotles that come in the glass jar. And if you like your barbacoa spicy, add one or two more tablespoons. Add one tablespoon of tomato paste. And now for the dry spices. Add two teaspoons of chili powder. One tablespoon of cumin. Two teaspoons of garlic salt. One teaspoon ground oregano. And just a teaspoon or so of the beef broth to help with the blending. Then cover and pulse to mix everything together into a paste. We have new recipes every week. Subscribe and ring the bell so you know when we've posted a new one. Now to get the roast ready. I like to trim off most of the fat from the roast so that it will be less greasy as it cooks. This is an Americanized version of the traditional Mexican barbacoa tacos. I'm using a beef roast in place of the traditional beef cheeks that are often used. After searching in our market for beef cheeks, the butcher recommended a chuck roast as the best option. I just want to thank you for watching our channel. When you watch, comment, and share our videos, it helps other people find us. And your support really means so much to us. Liberally salt and pepper the roast on both sides. Okay, now spread the wet spice rub over one side of the roast. Then place it into the crock pot rub side down. And spread the remaining spice rub mixture on top. Add six ounces of beer. and six ounces of beef broth. And then I like to add a teaspoon of better than bullion roasted beef base to the liquid mixture. Cover and cook on the low setting. The roast will be ready and extremely tender after cooking for about seven or eight hours. I've also included directions for cooking the barbacoa in an instant pot in the description. When it's ready, remove the beef to another dish and discard any remaining pieces of fat. Shred the meat using forks and spoon the savory sauce over the barbacoa. 
serve as tacos and burritos, taco salads, quesadillas, or a taco bowl. The choices are endless. Today we're making barbacoa tacos. Juicy, full-flavored tacos with a touch of spicy heat and topping them off with cilantro, radishes, and red onions. I like mine with a little tomatillo salsa, cojita cheese, and a squeeze of lime. The whole family is going to love these tacos and I can't wait for you to try them. Remember to subscribe before you leave so you know when we've posted a new recipe. Here's some more great recipes I think you'll like and I'll see you in the next video. If you love to entertain, check out our dessert recipes and potluck favorites. All simple to make and I guarantee they taste incredible.